All right, my friends, I have a new toy that I hope works out. You will have to be the ones that tell me over time how it pans out for us to see if this is helpful or not. I've tried a couple different cameras. I got this GoPro, I think it's a 10, I don't even know anymore, that I've been using. I've tried having other cameras to sync up with it, just old things I've had, but frame rates, problematic, whatever. I had an idea. Actually, the wife had an idea, and I took her idea, expanded it, and I bought me just a cheap action cam off of the internet, favorite big box internet store, the Akaso EK7000. And I started to open it, and I thought, huh, there's so much junk in this box. Excuse me. There's so many things in this box, I should probably do a little unboxing before I actually put this thing to use. Here's what I got. You pulled, this was packaged nicely, this pulled out of the main box, and it's got some directions, the EK7000, the camera is attached to the top, I haven't quite figured out how yet, but whatever, we'll get to that in a second, Velcro strap, little twisty tie, all these standard, can't say GoPro, but standard mounts, I guess USB for charging, more double back tape i've seen these mounts i have some somewhere slide in snappy locket more velcro mounts activate your free warranty i'm sure they want to send the email protect everything with what is it disilic is that what they call it a little pad tablet here's a clippy thing that i think is supposed to slide into these or something i don't know another clippy thing a wrench. He has a picture of a wrench on there, so you know it's a wrench. Don't know to what. I'll be honest, I bought this based on reviews and cheap because of what I intend to use it for, not because I read all the video last details. Another clippy thing. Well, this one goes 90 degree rotation from that way to that way. Hmm, okay, I'm sure there's use for that. Another anchor point. Hmm, little swivel thing so you can screw on something and get an angle. That's kind of cool. I like those. Another double back tape. No, it's another one of those, but it has a screw hole in it. It's the only difference. Okay. That's the one I was looking for. This is the doobie flopper that clips and slides into these. Put it aside. I guess the mount, if I want to take the camera out of the little waterproof case, I could put it in this mount, which might be how I do it for what I intend to use it for. It'll be dry all the time, so maybe that's what that's for. Battery charger, it's supposed to come with two batteries and it had a little charger. I did read that, so I guess. Cable, wall. These are teeny tiny little batteries. Look at the size of that battery. Hopefully they hold a decent charge, but battery one. Battery two. There we go. Come with this little remote control, which I'll bet you that's what this strap is for. Because they say snap it on your wrist and you push start and stop. I do not intend to do that type of stuff. I have a very specific use case for this that it might double and fit into other areas. Spare cover. Maybe you take it out of the waterproof case. Don't know. There are directions. There you go. You've not read as much of the directions as I have because that's all there is. Cool little clamp mount to put it on the bars. Extra pads, lens cleaner, zip ties. And, oh, little wire cable. Just a short little, what is that? Five, six inch cable with a loop on both ends. Hmm, okay. That's all that's in the box. Now. break anything in case there's something here but I'm not sure how this camera mounts a oh, little rubber stopper for something okay and there you go this little piece right here 
looks to be all assembled so I'll probably just leave it like that and clean up the cardboard on the bottom if you start to peel it off there's all kind of double back tape on there so I don't know we'll see I'll mess with it later not really what I had in mind what I wanted I'm not sure what the rubber caps for but it's off Can't smaller than my GoPro pretty nice tight seal yeah, it's definitely smaller than my GoPro. Oh, another cover. Plastic cover. I could have swore this thing was supposed to have a USB. I mean, a little SD card. And if it doesn't, I don't really care. Battery goes somewhere. Oh, right here. Oh, buttons on the side are easy to push as you're messing with trying to get this battery cover open. Hmm, batteries go in there. Charge this bad boy up, give it a little test run. Unlike the GoPro, it doesn't have the feet that fold down. I want these, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I wanted 1080p, so if it does 4K, that's just a bonus. There you go. Tiny little camera. Hope it works. So, the little camera's recording, the GoPro's recording, put the key in Junior, and we're not, obviously not going to go anywhere. I'm needing to get fuel, and it's cold. I don't feel like driving around in the wind. But we can do a little bit of footage between these two cameras and see how it lines up. I do not think this is going to be a perfect solution. I see in the display on this little camera that um, there's a little bit of a glare, so I'm sure the glare is going to come and go as I'm driving around. But uh, then I don't have to keep making comments along the lines of, hey, I'm at 15 degrees, or hey, I'm at 25 degrees, or hey, I hit 30 degrees. It'll just be on the, hopefully, on the little inset video maybe upper left upper right don't know maybe i overlay it where this stupid excuse me maybe i just overlay the angle on top of where this light is always in the images whenever i'm editing a video i see the corner of that light all the time so maybe i just use that because you can't see around the light anyway that's probably enough time for me to have two cameras to try and splice the video together I'm going to go back inside where it's warm. I hope you all stay warm as well.